Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's looking at a Skoda Octavia 2.0 TDI. So just inside the car there you can see we have the usual flashing glow plug symbol, engine management light on and the DPF is on as well. Engine's a little bit jumpy there, not sure if you can see that but it's jumping around like it's misfiring a little bit. It's doing a code search. We have a particle filter regeneration duration. So what that will either mean is it hasn't really been driven long enough uh, for a DPF regeneration. Um, or it's been driven too long and it's not been able to clean itself. But obviously we have another code here which is going to disable your um, regen process. Throttle pedal position circuit range performance. Now the, the throttle slash pedal sensor is probably most probably the actual throttle body itself getting stuck car is quite shaky I don't know if you can see that on the camera um, let's have a look at the freeze frame on that 2200 rpm vehicle speed was 50 miles per hour this one let's see if that was similar zero miles per hour read the data stream particle filter differential pressure all right we just need to get these into the right um, units of reading there okay so we have that on the millibar setting there which is around about 20 on idle which is is it's high um high enough for a clean but but not ridiculously high so just open the uh jubilee clip from the pipe here now we can open the electric plug it's got a 10 mil bolt here just gonna open this Just here we've got a couple of T30 bolts to hold the throttle body on. We're going to get this off and have a look inside. That's the second one. Number three, and that's why the range, the range or the performance is going to be coming up uh, because the flap is not going to be able to move 100% to where it's it's been asked to move. Hopefully, the gears are not broken, and we can just hopefully clean it up. Okay, so just open a couple of these T20 bolts here from the top of the throttle body just to have a look inside because sometimes what can happen is when the flap gets stuck this little gear will try and put some excessive force and then strip off some of these plastic teeth here but they look all fine so we'll put it back together so we're just going to pick off all this excess soot and then we'll use some brake cleaner to get it all off I know we've taken most of the big lumps out, we're going to use a bit of brake cleaner just to try and clean out the remains. Okay, so we've put all the in, uh, throttle body back together. Um, now we can come over here to the dipper, differential pressure sensor for the DPF. And we're just going to open this T30 bolt here. Okay, so the Just have another little clamp bolt down there underneath. Take it off and leave it there. Now we can release the pressure sensor. Just here we've got another bolt that's holding the bracket on. We can slide that back, take it off. Now 
now we can tip over the sensor. Now we just pulled off the holes from the DPF pressure sensor there, this side. Okay, so just mixed up a mix of 50% launch UK DPF clean and fluid with 50% deionized water. And we've got that in here ready to pump in to the DPF. Okay, so we've got that connected into the DPF holes and that's going back to the pressure gun here. Now we can just squeeze that and push the fluid directly into the DPF. Squeeze the trigger, let it go directly in. Okay, now the DPF fluid's in there, we're gonna start the car up. Now with the engine running, we're gonna pump the rest in. Okay, we're back in the car. It uh, looks like we're down to five millibars now. Uh, we'll just uh, give it some revs, see how far up it goes. Oh, actually, I haven't even got the um, pressure sensor back on. My mistake. Let's try that. 18 millibars. Once the uh, once the fluid is cleared out, that will lower down. So we'll give it a few revs now to clear it out. And we should see the numbers coming down. Just holding some revs on it to get the uh, DPF pressure down. Uh, we were just on about 280, we're down to 132. And um, we'll just see how low we can get it. And then we want to get it under 10 on idle, uh, ideally around 5 if we can, but under, under 10 is okay. We're down to about 48 now. 46 there. Once that sort of settles down and it's not dropping anymore, uh, we'll let go of the accelerator and we'll see what it's sitting on at idle and then we can reset the adaptions for the DPF. But uh, this car is still idling sort of rough, so it's, I think it's probably going to need a new throttle body. Now we're down to 37. Okay, we've slowed down a bit now, so we'll uh, let go of the accelerator. We're down around 9 to 10 there. So we're just going to turn the engine off and put the ignition on, and we'll go into adaptions, particle filter initialization. Okay, now that's done, that's finished correctly, we can go back, uh, we'll go back again to the codes, and just see if they need clearing. No, we'll just clear them, clear the codes. No DTCs there. So we'll start the engine up now. Sometimes these VWs, um, they'll still leave an exhaust symbol, yeah, that flashed, so it's probably going to stay on. Now that exhaust symbol will just go away on its own once we drive it a little bit. Okay, we're just uh, taking the vehicle for a quick test drive. And uh, we can see we have uh, full power back. 
Now the particle filter differential pressure is on six. Uh, we'll accelerate up to 25. We have 40. That will slightly even decrease a little bit more once it's been on a longer drive. So that's it, Score is all done. See you in the next video.